me your name, major, and year. Um, my name is Mia Frazier. Um, my major is early childhood education, and I'm a sophomore. So why did you apply to Ring by Spring? Um, I guess I was just trying to look for love, and I'm 20, so I just feel like I'm ready to, you know, mm -hmm. take that next step. So I'm, I'm assuming that you're looking for a love connection. Yes, definitely. Welcome to Ring by Spring. Start with your name, your major, and your year. I'm Zachary Smith. I'm a communication arts major, and I'm a senior. Why did you apply to Ring by Spring? It seemed like a really fun opportunity, just getting to meet new people and just see what's up on the campus, you know? Are you hoping for some kind of connection through this? Yeah, I'm definitely love to see where things go and see the people that I'm able to meet. So. All right, beautiful. <laughs> Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Welcome to Green by Spring! <laughs> Yay! Alright cat. so the way this is going to work is you guys have your very gourmet five-star McDonald's meal in front of you, alright? So start off by telling me your name, your major, and your year. Go. I'm Zachary Smith. I'm a communications major and I'm a senior. I'm Mia. I'm an education major and I'm a sophomore. Well, this is exciting. If you guys wanna Okay, we're just like use yeah, a conversation yeah. card, yeah. Okay. Um, do you have a secret hunch about how um how you will die? <laughs> okay. Um I'd probably say just good age, you know, getting really old, just dying by age. Yeah, I don't see anything crazy happening, so. Go ahead, answer the, the question too. Oh yeah, Maybe. what about yourself? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope old age too, like I hope it's nothing yeah. like drastically like, I don't want to have a slow death if that makes sense. I got it. Just kind yeah. of something like fast. Yeah. What are your hobbies? Um, I like to scuba dive and swim. Um, and I love to write like poetry and like a bunch of different stories and stuff. Wonderful. Yeah. Elaborate. Tell them about your business. <laughs> um, so I'm a swim instructor okay. and I actually teach some of my friends like actually at Gordon like how to swim for free. So mm -hmm. yeah. I used to do varsity swimming. Love swimming. Wow, so that's awesome. that's awesome. Where are you from and where is somewhere you'd like to go at some point in time? I'm originally from the Bahamas, I was born there, um, and we moved to Lowell, Massachusetts when I was five. But uh, I think my dream vacation spot would be Greece. I would love to go to Greece. Yeah. Wonderful. So funny. Elaborate. How do you get there? Why do you want to be there? Um, I love the show or the movie Mamma Mia. Obviously, okay. like my days. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I love Mama the Mia? show. I love movie. the movie. Yeah. And so I just love how the water is just so like turquoise and the buildings are white and all the flowers. I think it's just so pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. What is your favorite movie? Um, The Life of Pi. I don't know Life if you've heard of it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's an amazing story. Like just him on the boat and then just having to survive like a lion and a zebra, like on a yeah. tiny little boat. I think it was just so amazing. Yeah. And the graphics are so cool too. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good movie. Definitely a little bit of a thriller, though, when he finds the tiger on the boat. No, yeah. Yeah, he's like, whoa. Guys, it tries to, like, what would you do if you were on a boat with the lion and the zebra? What would you do I if you were like, by? I would, like, honestly, like, Loki try to tame it. I don't know. I think I would, like, try yeah. to tame the tiger. I think I'd just stay on the other side of the boat, if you're real. Or I'd just, once I see shore, I'm diving in the water. I'm swimming back. <laughs> But That's a good idea. In the, in the film, he was far away. So, what is the song you connect to and why? Hmm. I feel like I'm the type of person that like doesn't have like one music taste. Like I yeah. kind of listen to like everything. Mm -hmm. But um, I think I would say mostly like R&B songs. Mm -hmm. 
just because I feel like they kind of like relax me in times of like when I'm like anxious and stuff. Yeah. So just any like R and B, even if it's like older, like music, yeah. also like Elaborate. jazz and any stuff. Any favorite artists? Um, I think this is a like Summer Walker. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. What makes you feel nostalgic? Uh, um, I feel like every time I go to like. Whether I'm at like a high school or an elementary school, I see the playground. I always like think about like when I was a kid and like I was just able to dream and you know think about what the world was going to be and like what dreams and aspirations I had. So yeah, just dreaming and exploring and you know having fun. So That's awesome. yeah. What were your dreams when you were younger? Like... Um, I wanted to be a professional athlete. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of an unrealistic goal because I'm five ten, but um, you know I want to be a basketball player, but you know. You have to be really big and tall and also really good at that, so. Do you play a sport now? I do track at Gordon, okay. so, yeah. Did you have any dreams when you were a kid? Um, I wanted to be in the Olympics or something. Really? Wow. <laughs> I got to high school, my senior year of high school, and I was the captain on the team, and I was okay. like, I, I think I might be a little too behind to be, like, training for the Olympics now. So yeah. I just kind of was like, kind of shifted my dream to becoming a teacher. Yeah. But yeah. What was your favorite stroke? Um, back. Backstroke. Backstroke, yeah. yeah. That's a good one. What was yours? I was a freestyle and backstroke. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can do freestyle, just not long distance. I'm not like, yeah. really a distance runner. No, I was but... a sprinter, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what makes life meaningful to you? Um, I mean, when you're around people that are really genuine, good friends, um, whether it's professors, mentors, people that are genuine and they care, that's really important. Um, I really value every friendship that I have, and if like, you're in my inner circle, that means I really value you, mm -hmm. and I value our meaningful conversation and time together, so. I think for me, it would be family. Yeah. Um, I'm very family-oriented, and so um, I think they're the most meaningful part of my life, just because yeah. I had such a great childhood, and I thank them for that, like, every day. Yeah. Um, yeah. What scares you, and why? I don't really say I get scared, it's just sometimes thinking about what's next in life, um, where things are going to end up, what God's plan looks like. Sometimes that's not really clear, it's kind of like, uh, where's, what's next, like, where do I go? So, but, you know, trusting in God and knowing that He has a plan is all that matters, so. Guys, I'm going to interject and I'm going to ask you some questions. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> <I'm the> big <laughs> ones. <laughs> what, do you believe in love at first sight for long-term relationships? Want me to go or do you want to go? You <laughs> can <laughs> I would probably say no just because like I feel like you really need to get to know someone before you can really say like you're in love. Like I feel like that's a connection that you make over time. Like you can obviously be attracted to someone and think they're nice at first sight but like it takes time to develop a genuine connection to them and be able to say that. So that's my opinion. I agree. I think love at first sight is like kind of a lustish kind of feeling, like, oh, I would see someone, I think they're attractive, but it's not really, like, love, because it's just kind of like what you're first seeing, it's not really what you're seeing, like, deep down, so I think you'd have to also get to know them really well and um, see what the type of person they are. Yeah. All right, say this works out, you're in a relationship, you're stressed, how do you react? <laughs> I just think communication's everything, mm. um, just from relationships I was in and just Knowing people, just you gotta have really good communication. You gotta be open. You have to be honest. And when you have that, anything's possible. And you know, just trust in God. Um, if God's not in the center of your relationship, then it really is gonna go in the toilet. It's just not gonna go anywhere. And I really do mean that because that's just what happens. And that's why sometimes marriages and things don't work out. So I agree on the communication part. Um, I think personally, I when I'm stressed. I kind of distance myself, so I think trying or working on not doing that and kind of like being honest and vulnerable in the situation and communicating as well. Yeah. I think it's really important. Yeah. And how would you define a healthy relationship? Healthy relationship, um, like I said before, Christ in the center. Um, just yeah, communicating and really you just gotta be happy. I mean, like when you're honest with someone, um, you spend genuine time with them and you're really like passionate and you show your love to them and you're affectionate, that's really important. And like knowing what she likes and or what he likes um, is important. So like just being able to mirror what the other person likes and being able to you know, every step of the way. 
Um, I feel like building a close friendship first is like always great so that you know that like they have your back and that you can uh, trust them and build trust with them and be vulnerable with them. So um, that's a very big thing. It's like first becoming very close with the person and then deciding to, you know, share life with them. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's gonna happen now is we're gonna leave you guys here alone for like a good eight to 10 minutes. You guys feel free to do whatever. Use level four and level two of the conversation starters. Make your own conversation and we'll be back. We're the love doctors. We are the love doctors. This works out. It's on us. If it doesn't, it's not on us. It's not on us if it doesn't work out. Come to us for all our Valentine's Day needs. genuine blunt response will there be a date too don't lie because we're gonna do a post interview ready on the count of three give me your Wait, genuine like, when response when is this gonna be what the second day yeah that's up to you guys we made the match you guys keep this up ready <laughs> three two we're gonna talk about it together <laughs> yeah what was your thoughts on the date I feel like, yeah, like, I feel like I wouldn't want to get to know you more. Like, I feel like right now I'm kind of tense. And so I feel so, like if there was a second yeah. date, I'd be more relaxed. Yeah, more laid back. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I would be a second date. Yeah. You seem nice. Yeah. Good personality. I'm um, family oriented. Yeah. There's going to be a second date? <laughs> yes or no? Yeah. yeah. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Okay. Awesome. We're gonna take you guys that separately. Really cool. <laughs> We're yeah. gonna take you guys separately for post interviews. Mia, you're gonna stay in here. Zach, go with Tenna and Mary, and go into the prayer room. What do you think? How'd it go? Yeah, she seemed really nice. Um, family oriented was definitely a nice thing about her. Um, I could tell she was definitely a little nervous, but you know that's okay. I mean. I know, I know she's new to the dating show and everything, so nothing wrong with that. Um, but yeah, genuine, seemed really nice. Definitely worth a second date. Did you feel a connection? Yeah, I mean, I think both of us had very like kind and heartwarming um, personalities, so I think that was definitely something that was similar. Um, having s siblings, both of us, um, both being part of decent sized, big families, that was definitely something that was really cool to see, so. What did you like about each other? Uh, yeah, I like how she was really open, um, honest, didn't really hold anything back when we were talking. It was just, you know, straight up and forward. And, you know, when there was a question she didn't want to answer, she was pretty good about, you know, going about it and going, like, can we go to the next one, so. So in there, you said there was going to be a second date. Is that an actual, genuine second date, or was it just because you were in there with him? <laughs> <laughs> That's the question? That's crazy. Wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. Give me a second. I mean, it definitely was worth a second date, and you know, I wasn't saying that. Just say that. And she seemed really nice. So, looking forward to it. So I there will good. be a second date. Yeah. Cool. So, Mia, what did you think about the date? At first, I was a little nervous, but then when we got to talking, I started getting more comfortable, and it was really fun <laughs> getting to know him. So, what did you like about him? What were like some qualities that you admired? 
Um, he seems like he knows what he wants to do after college um, and he's an athlete like he takes track very seriously and he used to swim so I think that's like really awesome because I love to swim. Um, anyway. So like the connection, like, what did you feel like it what was there? Was it strong and palpable? Like <laughs> what like what about the connection? I think the connection was there. I think that going on the second date that like, you know, we'd both be more relaxed and now we like know a little bit more about each other. So it's gonna go, I think a little bit more better. And we're gonna build that connection even more. We're gonna have you guys take out your phones and exchange numbers. All right, go ahead. <laughs> okay. No, you're good, I'll come over. Okay. <laughs> Alright, alright. Do you want to put it in? Yeah. yeah you're good. Yay, here you go. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. I'll be waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> Please! Guys, that was Ring by Spring. Thank you for joining us. We hope this works out well for you. Thank you. Guys, I would also like to announce that you are first couple from Ring by Spring that has worked out. That has gone on the second day! Yay! Yay! <laughs> you made history! You made history! <laughs> Alright, yay guys! That's it! Yay!